So I was putting together this post on the uh, machine learning playbook to talk about how I would approach it. And I found a job and I started digging into the job. I'm like, holy cow, this company's lost. All right, so they're building deep learning models, uh, deep learning. So if they're on deep learning, we're going to assume that they're working with images, images. They're going to assume they're working with text or audio, right? Because these are deep learning use cases. And these are about it, right? Uh, and you come down here and you're like, wait a minute, experience with PyTorch. Okay, yeah, that, that's a deep learning framework. That makes sense. Python, yeah, yeah, PyTorch, Python, got it. Cycle and pandas. Pandas is for working with structured data. NumPies are the arrays pandas are built on for structured data. And Snowflake, well, that is a structured data store. So it looks like their data is going to be here. Well, if that's the case, they don't know what they're doing. Why? Because deep learning models aren't the top model for structured data stores. Those that have watched me long enough know that XG, XG Boost, is the king. It's the king. There are no deep learning models that can beat it. It'll spank the deep learning models every day of the week. So, um, it's unbelievable that the companies don't know the best models. So now you would have to go on to this interview and be like, yeah, yeah, I, I've got PyTorch and you would need to answer some PyTorch questions and then you'd have to understand some deep learning and you couldn't tell them, listen, uh, hey, when I get in there, I'm going to prove to you that the deep learning models aren't really what you should be using, but um, you can't do this first. All right. So it's a company, uh, uh, whatever that is, however you pronounce that. Don't know what they're doing, but you'll find that's most of the companies out there. And as a machine learning engineer, you are the one that's going to have to go in and understand what the top models are. You're the one that's going to have to go in and say, hey, this, you know, deep learning is great. And I'm sure uh, you're getting some great scores or you're getting some great feedback from the model, but it's it's not the top model. And then you're going to have to build models with XGBoost that killed these models which should be easy. You can embarrass these models pretty easily uh, to show that you should be using XGBoost, right? Uh, and then experience on AWS, right? So that's, we know that they're working on AWS. So it looks like it's, they've got Snowflake. Snowflake is on AWS, right? They're building the, the data sets. All the data is going to be stored in Snowflake. And unfortunately, you're using PyTorch to build models for whatever the company does. All right. So just uh, keep in mind that uh, as the machine learning engineer, you're going to have to know all this and you're going to have to be able to unpack all this. Move over here. We've got some, the newsletter, here it is. This is a newsletter, sign up. Go ahead and sign up. It is, it is free. And these are going to be deep dives. Look at this one. People always ask me, Mike, well, what's your approach for machine learning? Well, it's here. Uh, my approach for machine learning is here. If you're in a data role. If you're a data professional already, if you're not in a data role, this isn't my playbook. My playbook is get into a data role, learn SQL, uh, because without SQL, you won't be working in machine learning. All right. Uh, we published this one today. This is a good one. Talks about the, the data warehouses that are king right now, the column stores, uh, which is, guess what? Snowflake, right? And get ready for, here. these are published. Read this one. Uh, why do I still have a job? This is fun and interesting. All right. So sign up here. Have a great day. We'll see you soon.